Hey ladies, this is Linda, Face Chick 777 and I'm coming at you today with another scrapbook haul. So uh, these are a few things I found in this last week. So the first thing I'm going to show you is um, a couple of items I got at our local thrift store. I've been on the hunt for some teacups and saucers because I want to make those cute pin cushions out of them that I've been seeing on um, some of you ladies talented videos so I found this cute cup it's got little roses on it and I couldn't find any saucers to match but I went ahead and got what I found which is this it's a little Christmassy saucer because I don't really mind if it doesn't match because I think ladies that I'm going to be able to cover this up with lace and stuff like that and I'll show you what I found I think it's going to work just cute so I found that and the cup was like 50 cents the saucer a quarter so I got two of each of those and then I found a cute set of just all plain this is a lot smaller it's um, about probably half the size of teacup and saucer set of four three dollars and fifty cents so I picked that up blank canvas to work with ladies a blank canvas and then you know you ladies were good friends you told me to stop buying lace but I didn't listen but you know found some lace gotta have it there you go this lace 50 cents for two of them all about those vintage purses I'm working on ladies really cute 50 cents isn't that sweet so a couple of those and then I found this really pretty um, doily. It's got, look at these very cute um, roses and stuff on them. Really large, $1.50. And then I found this cute um, lace. It's already sewn, ladies. All of, It's sewn all the way around, actually. So all I'm going to do is open one end, insert my inside of purse and then um add all my cute little baubles and stuff hanging off of it so half the work's already done for me and then i found this cute little um lacy circle which is going to be in my swap partners album so you know who you are you just saw a little goodie going inside of it but you don't know what it's going to look like and then i was walking by this um bags of fabric and i saw this lace stuff inside of it and I asked the lady she'd sell it separately and she did she told me like a dollar for all of it and then she ended up only charging me 50 cents but I found this um, real big chunk of eyelet lace so that's gonna be very cute and it had this little <laughs> scallop like stringer hanging off of it so that's a cute border right there and then all this this little lot I'm showing you here starting with that um, eyelet lace this, like I said, all 50 cents for all this I'm showing you. Really pretty. Look at that crochet trim, ladies. Isn't that beautiful? And look how much you get of it. Plus this, look how much you get of this one. Look at this real pretty. Isn't that a gorgeous, vintage looking lace? And then this one, I mean, again, look how much you get of it. And look at this. How can you pass that up, ladies? I mean, that's just gorgeous right and then i got this cute little just normal looking lace kind of looks eyeletty but i mean look at all that in there and then i picked up this is kind of a purpley mauve lace but look at the design on that one ladies that's beautiful a couple inches wide and then this is just a regular mauve lace kind of a pinkish light pinkish mauve and then this one's a it's the same, but it's got a little bit more to it up top here. But remember that teacup I was showing you, ladies? I mean, this color matches the roses on it perfectly. So I'm thinking if I take, you know, maybe Maj Paws something over this and then lace around that corner to hide it, and then you've got your teacup hanging off, I mean, I think that's going to look really cute, and it'll completely hide that it doesn't match. So I don't know. We'll see what happens. But 50 cents for all that lace, ladies. Glad I got it. And then I went to Michael's. You always got to go to Michael's. Picked up some um, cute trims there. I picked up this mini um, rosette trim a couple yards. I was armed again with about 10 coupons. Michael's and Joann's. Actually, this is from Joann's. Michael's doesn't have the lace and stuff. But, you know, armed with a bunch of coupons. So I picked up the mini rosette trim. And then I picked up this trim. Isn't that cute? Look at those little roses. That is so sweet. I think that might go on my Swap Partners album. And then I was out of this, so I wanted to get some more of this um, really pretty trim. 
Again, going in my Swap Partners album, you're getting a sneaky peek. And then, oh, I picked up some of this lace in the wedding section. I couldn't pass this up, ladies. This is just beautiful, all embroidered. Look at that, all embroidered. And look at that lace. I mean, that is just gorgeous. Couldn't pass that up. Half a yard of that I bought. And then I picked up, um, finally wanted to get the um, floral vine um, Martha Stewart punch. I think that's going to be sweet. And then I held out long enough, ladies. Finally picked up the Tim Holtz Distressor. I kind of do it myself, but I went ahead and picked it one up. Thought it was going to really make it look distressed. And then I picked up these Martha Stewart um, envelopes. And you've probably all seen it, but I'll whip one out for you. The cute little, look at that eyelet. And then this cute little scallop card that goes inside of it. Really cute. Those are going to go on my Swap Partners album. And then she loves... Um, butterflies i think because i see it all over her um stuff so i picked up these martha stewart crocheted um try and put that behind it look at how dainty those are crocheted butterflies i just think those are beautiful so there wow those are going in her album and then i picked up um between joanne's and michael's now i don't even know what store i'm in here <laughs> um picked up the regent street paper love this paper because it's all vintagey and of course looks like old theater type stuff. I'm sure you've all seen this paper, so pick that up. And um, that was at Michael's. I know it now. Now I know what store I'm in. I'm in the Michael's store, and I picked up these cute um, magnets. This one has, like, the clocks on it, and this one has the keys and stuff on it, because ladies, I thought hot glue it on the front of an album, and it looks like a doorknob. So these are going to be really cute on the front of an album. And Let's see. I think that was it for those stores. So then um, last weekend, was it last weekend? Yes, over in um, Portland, um, here here in Oregon, Scrapbook Expo. I'd never gone to the Scrapbook Expo before. I've always been to like the Creating Keepsakes one they have in March, the one put out by Creating Keepsakes Magazine. Love it. So I wanted to try the Scrapbook Expo. And, you know, I've been chatting it up with Jules. Hi, Jules, from the Jewel Box. Um, YouTube name Jana Vile. Check her stuff out. You're not going to regret seeing her creativity. Um, we met there, you know, first time meeting. We clicked like crazy. We spent all day together shopping. We chatted. We laughed. We, I mean, hugged, of course. And uh, we just had a good time. So we went shopping, as I said. And here's a few items I got. I tried to pick up things that I couldn't, you know, find readily available around here. Or, of course, if it was a good deal, you know, obviously I'm going to pick that up. So um, first thing first I decided to add to my ever-growing stamp collection you know can't walk away without any stamps so I picked up this one by creative imaginations now it talks about like 25th anniversary stuff like that well I haven't been married 25 years only 18 but I love all the other little you know stamps on it made in heaven added bl or, uh, bliss not wedded bliss but I would use the bliss today tomorrow and always that's like my favorite there to have and to hold so in love with you I you know I'm ladies and a sucker for sappy you know anything sappy you know um, stamps anything like that X's and O's hugs and kisses you know, like that stamp said, today, tomorrow, always, anything like that. If that's got it on it, I want it because I am just a hopeless romantic. Um, I picked up these cute little heart stamps. So those are fun. These were $3 and that other stamp set was only $3. Um, this is by Autumn Leaves. And I picked up a um, cute little butterfly stamp. This might go in a giveaway. It was a, you know, really cute little stamp with the little swirls on it. I'm not sure. Might go in a giveaway. Love anything that's in a circle. So I picked up these little circle stamps. This says together on it. Well, there it is. Another hopeless romantic sappy word. So cute. Who doesn't love quotes? You can always use those. But anyway, cute little circle stamps. $1.50 for that making memories set. And then I picked up, love this. Jules and I both picked this up. Love this stamp. It's huge. Love it. It's by Unity Stamp Company. It was $10. Jules got hers for $9. Why I got mine for $10, I don't know. But she walked up and she got the deal. I didn't, but I didn't care. I love the stamp. Um, and then for buying anything in the booth, you got a free stamp. So this is the one I picked out. It's a rubber stamp that says, Kiss me and you will see stars. Love me and I will give them to you. Oh, isn't that cute, ladies? 
That's all lovey-dovey, huh? So there you go on that. And then I picked up this um, little package. It's these really cute paisley stamps um, by Basic Gray. And then inside the package, it had these great, let me see if I can get them open real quick, these um, little tags that go in it. It was like $5 for the whole package. This set of the journaling stamps, really cute. And each one has, I mean, you get about like 10 of each, each, each uh, design here. But I loved it because I thought in my Smashbook ladies would be really cute. And then this one looks like this. These little set, same thing, about 10 of each little um, design. So that's cute. And then here's the stamp up more up close, little paisley stamp. So, you know, I'm not going to pass that up. Ever-growing stamp collection, like I said. And then picked up a couple of Smashbook pens. I got the pink and the blue. So I can, my pens can be a little multicolored in my book, of course. And then I picked up, I needed um, this, I like this um, file set, Basic Gray, because when I'm standing in letters and need to get in the little spots, I wanted those little small files to get in there. And then I picked up um, some alcohol ink, the pearl and the copper, because I cannot seem to get that around here. All you can get is the gold and the silver, so picked up the pearl and the copper. And then I picked up some, these were a dollar a piece, ladies, um, chipboard, making memories chipboard letters. And then I picked up the um, Tim Holtz um, binders, ring binders for albums, of course. And then I picked up these fun chipboard letters. These were $2.59 a piece. These are five inch cursive -y letters, five inch tall. And then these ones are three inches tall. The same one, it's the Monica um, alphabet. But I've um, got one of each of those. And then um, Paper Phenomenon, she's got great um, videos and tutorials out there. But she's doing um, suitcases, journey suitcases and stuff. So I got little um, hinges and little clasps for the front of the suitcase. These ones were like a dollar something a piece. And then the silver ones I got were like 50 cents a piece. So I picked up enough for about, I don't know, 10 suitcases. And the, hey, got something free, ladies, when we walked in the door. Free thing of glue dots. Didn't have to pay for that. Love it. And um, found some of these Prima leaves, the green with the burgundy around it. $1.99. Buy one, get one free. Looking all over for this leaf vine trim. Love it. I think this was $2. It's like three yards. And then I can never seem to find crackle accents. Every time I go to the store, they're out. So I bought a thing of crackle accents, finally. And then picked up some of these Tim Holtz, the tickets. So can't wait to use those. I've been holding out, you know, didn't need them, didn't need them. But now I want to use them. And then Jules told me about an idea she saw where once the tickets are all gone or rip them out now. And then you use this part to connect pages to. And then you have yourself a little mini album. So that's going to be fun. And then I picked up some stuff, ladies, I thought was a good deal. These were like a dollar wheat sprays. You know, you're limited on, of course, what colors they have. But I think I found some pretty colors. The blue, dollar for that. And then the white, there's only like one of each left. Lucked out on that. And picked up some. These were a dollar um, for 400 little gems. I wanted a little bit bigger size than what I have. And then picked up a bunch of these. These were a dollar fifty. These are those crystal flower sprays. These are the green ones. Like I said, you know, obviously what color they have, but they're pretty colors. The red. And this is kind of a you know pretty blue, and then this is like a really light, light, almost bluish gray. So those are pretty. Dollar fifty, twelve pieces in each one. And then picked up. The little butterflies, these were uh, one inch butterflies, 12 of them for $1.50. These are the black. And I got a bunch of these because I'm thinking giveaways, ladies. Put some butterflies in there. So black ones, love these brown ones. Bought two packages of those because I'm all about the brown, ladies. And picked up some of the kind of the off white ones. Oh, picked up just some plain little flowers, one and three agents of the little flowers. And, oh, here's more brown. All about the brown, like I said, and the lovey-dovey. And then picked up kind of white. And then I picked up, these are $2 for the 3-inch butterflies. And then um, $1.50 for the 2-inch butterflies. Every package had 12 of them in it. And then for shopping, I got at one place spending, I think it was $20. I got this cute free Mickey bag, vintage Mickey. Isn't that sweet? So that was my shopping bag, ladies. And yes, I fit everything in this bag, believe it or not, carried around with me anywhere. 
Okay, ladies, there you go. That's my haul for today. Thanks for spending your time with me, and I'll see you soon. Bye!